In this video, I will show you how we can connect one X control to one X object in a very efficient way. Because right now the problem is we have made previously one X object. So I will add now, I will add my X object here. If I go to library, I have my X object water pump. And we also made one X control. So I add my file water pump HMI library. I add. Then here I also have my water pump HMI. If I want to use them both in my application, according to the current design, I need first to maybe create a new data server and I will call it pump and in this data server I will insert one water pump this water pump I will name it pump name is pump001 and the location is near the river okay so this water pump here I want to have a nice interface on screen so I go to my screen and I insert my water pump HMI we have done before. If I want to link this HMI to this water pump X object, I need to go to the library here and I need to link, for example, the name. So here we have a pump name. I will link the pump name to my pump water pump one, then pump then if I want to show the location, I need to make a link for the location to water pump one location. For water level also, I need to link water pump one water level. And also for the motor here, I need to make a link to water pump one motor. And this one is bidirectional. So this is how we can link according to the current design, one X control to one X object. But the problem is when I have 10 water pump in my screen, I have to do this link 10 times. So I have to, if I have, now I have four link for one, I need to make 40 link. So this is not so convenient. If I look very carefully, I will find out that the property of my X object, they are the same with the property of my X control. They are absolutely the same. So why to link one to one, one to one, one to one, when I can directly give to the HMI the reference of my water pump? instance. So to make this modification, to simplify this design, when I have the same property in both X object and X control, I can directly have as unique source of my X control one X object. So I can remove all the property of my is control because these property they are already inside my X object so I can remove them all and I can have only one and this will be the source of my data and the type of my source is water pump X object so this is my source inside this X object. When this X control will receive as parameter this source, this data type, inside it will find pump name, location, water level, and motor. So to complete the modification of my X control, I need to change the link I made here. So I can edit link here 
and is already all in red. But first I need to register because I already changed the property type of my X control. So I need to register. Then I can edit link and I can correct this. I can modify. So right now I don't have any more property motor, water level, pump name, water level, location. I have only one property which is source. In the source I will find motor, water level, pump name, water level and location. So I need to take from this source. And this source, of course, this property also belongs to my water pump HMI. So here to modify, I only have to insert point source, point motor. So the color is blue, so the link is okay. Then here I do the same thing. Here I do the same thing. Here also. And the last one. So now my X control is now ready. So for the motor here, I have analog, then now it's ready also. In my design, I need to change here the script I have made and also I need to write source motor and here source motor. So, it seems to be correct. Then I'll register again my library and I go back to my initial screen. Here, all change and all my previous property are gone. Right now I have only one source and here we have this symbol which is that we have to accept only one kind which is one X, with X object. Then now in my, X con in my screen I have one X control that waiting to receive one X object. In my data I have water pump one. So this one we receive here, I can change from the link here. Also, I can also change directly here. So let's do it from here. I can directly connect to my water pump one. Save and I can run. Then it's running. So if I want to insert, for example, uh, let's make the speed of my, let's make the peak in my simulation of motor pump. Here I can scan faster. So now I can stop, start. So it's running faster. So now we have one water pump one and one HMI. If I want to add one more, it's very easy. I insert in pump one more water pump. This is my X object, water pump two. And I write near the sea. The first one is near the river. This one is near the sea. Then I give a name, pump 002. And here my screen, I insert HMI, and this HMI I will link to my pump two. So in 20 seconds, we add two pump, two HMI, and they are all linked together. And now I can start this one, pump one near the river, and then I can have pump two near the sea. So this is how we can we can design very easily one X object and one X control. Then we can link link them together. So the key point of this video is to understand the principle 
of having one only property here source and the type is water pump is x object type